Hey guys, now that I have my coffee, I just wanted to give you guys a progress update. And I was able to update Magic Hat. We're maybe about 90% there. As you can see, everything looks pretty good. Uh, there are some visual artifacts to fix, kind of like the glow around the letters of the animals and uh, the, the Yeti, also the animation's a little messed up when he slides in, but all in all, pretty good. So I wanted to share my experience with updating the app because this was built in Swift 2 not even Swift 3. So I had to update it from Swift 2 to 3 and then from 3 to 4. And the process from 2 to 3 was painful as expected because there were a ton of breaking changes from Swift uh, 2 to 3. So I first tried to use the Xcode automatic updater, which is supposed to comb through the project and then try to auto fix as much as many things as it can, um, except that when I tried to do that, I ran it and then it said it failed. It couldn't, I, for some reason it didn't work. So what I had to do uh, was I had to basically go through it one by one, but the saving grace of it was that I told you there was a lot of generated code, right? In the last video you saw there was something like 500, 463 errors or something, almost 500. So a lot of that, uh, you know, one fix, I was able to kind of do a search and replace and fix like 30 things at, at once. Um, but the whole process took about an hour and a half. So I did, you know, that searching and replacing uh, and updated it to Swift 3. And then I used Xcode 9 beta and I opened the project. And the update from Swift 3 to 4 was barely anything at all. And that's, you know, that's amazing because the Swift team, they promised that with Swift 4, they wouldn't introduce any breaking changes or they would try not to. And uh, sure enough, when I was updating my app from 3 to 4, it was such an easy process. So I hope for you guys out there today who are updating Swift 3 apps to 4 that you find the process pretty easy as well. But for me, because this app was Swift 2, it just, it just took a lot of time. Most of it was... It wasn't hard, it was just tedious work. It was a lot, of, a lot of manual labor because a lot of it was just syntactical changes in Swift 3 that was breaking my old code. For example, um, methods might accept different parameters. They might be named slightly differently. Uh, some properties might be accepting different data types now. So I had to make those kinds of changes. Uh, nothing, nothing too, too bad. All right, so what's next? Well, we have to fix those couple of visual effect bugs that I mentioned, and then we're gonna have to test the app on a whole bunch of different devices to see what comes up and fix those. And then lastly, we have to prepare the app for submission, like work on the app listing and stuff like that. Uh, in a couple of videos before I mentioned Steve Young and App Masters, well, I asked him and he's gonna come on to the YouTube channel next week. So he's gonna share some tips and strategies for us that we are going to implement with magic hat when we upload that app to the app store so be on the lookout for that also um, next week i'm going to start releasing some beginner lessons updated ones the ones that i have on my series now the 17 beginner lessons to build the war app those are probably my most popular videos and so i'm going to update those for xcode 9 and swift 4 if you've already seen them before or you are um, an intermittent intermediate level uh, programmer, then just bear with me while I update those and uh, put those on the channel for people who are just starting out. Um, and then I'll get back to producing more um, intermediate content. But I will still release another vlog next week and the Steve Young episode is coming next week as well. And also, last thing, last but not least, I want to <laughs> give you guys the answer to the question I asked you last week. And I want to give you a new question. Okay, so the answer first. Um, when I saw people replying after I uploaded that video, I actually instantly regret asking that question because some people actually, um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy and I'm so touched the fact that some of you think I'm a, a tidy person because the reality is, unfortunately, to disappoint is that I'm not that tidy. And so I did clean up the office for you guys and hopefully I can keep it that clean. You know, you can comment below and ask me if my office is clean or not from time to time and I can tell you. And so that's the answer. Thank you to all who participated and thank you to you guys who said that I was a tidy person. Now, the this week's question, we actually went on a big Costco trip and we do these like 
once every two months and it's always a big affair we always buy a ton of stuff but this time in particular i couldn't believe how much we spent in one single trip and it didn't look like that much in the shopping cart but when i saw the bill man so i actually uh recorded our haul because i forgot the bags we didn't bring bags to costco so i had to load everything in the car one by one and then we took everything out of the car when we got home and we just put it in a pile before we put everything away I just said, hey, quickly, I'm going to take the video camera and I'm going to just show you guys what I took. So check out this haul. Let me know in the comment section below how much you think that everything cost. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video and click that little bell icon if you don't want to miss the next vlog or miss any videos from me. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.